Good evening everybody, this is John J. Gaiman on the mic coming at you guys here today with history about to be made here in the next 60 minutes. We have the inaugural ACSA and College Football National Championship game which will be taking place between the number three seed Capital of Tennessee Bulldogs and the number one team in the entire nation, the Warwick Rebels and what should be a great national championship game here today so do me a favor guys smash that like button and if you're brand new to the channel as well hit that subscribe button as well let's go ahead and get into this national championship game between these two great football teams so with the pleasantries and the pageantry now out of the way it's time to go ahead and play some football the ACSA national championship game and it's going to start with Capital Tennessee. They will be the first to possess the football and going to waste no time sending it downfield. But Deshaun Gray over frozen. That was six points right there, my guy. And instead, it's going to be third and seven from the 35-yard line. Deshaun Gray dropping back the pass. He's going to scramble out of the pocket. He's got a couple blockers with him, though. And he's going to end up picking up a first down for the Bulldogs. And a new set of downs that the Bulldogs will be able to work with now. As the Bulldogs now work to midfield thanks to a short pass up the middle to Kevin Gross. It is good for five yards. And now second and five. Gray again dropping back facing pressure though. Going to get out of the pocket though. And is going to scramble head first in for the first down though. As the uh, Bulldogs will continue to get it moving downfield. Getting themselves a nice little drive going here but... They face another third down here. The third third down of this drive. Can the Rebels get them off the field? They try to throw over the middle, though, but it's incomplete. The Bulldogs had to punt this football away. And so that being said, we now have the Warwick Rebels officially on the football field now. We'll see what their first possession is. It's something to keep an eye on. The backup quarterback is actually in this on the in the game because off screen back in the semifinal game the um during garbage time the starting quarterback actually got hurt and he's actually not available for today's national championship game so something to definitely watch out here for sure as we'll see how this backup quarterback handles the pressure handles the lights that is this national championship game as collins running up field almost picking up the first down here though as well so you love to see that and we do have second and one coming up here. We now have Love taking it up the middle of the field, picking up a first down. He had a rushing touchdown in the last game against Seattle College. We got third and long now. Now this backup quarterback is in a position where they have to make a play. As Collins looks over the middle quick. We had a man for a second, but threw it too late. And it leads to an incompletion. So the Rebels did have to punt this football away, but... That being said, Capital of Tennessee, they go free and out on their next drive. So now the Rebels will have the football once again and have a pretty good field position to work with as well. They are at just about midfield already. Hopefully we can see our first points of this ball game here as Collins will again drop back on second and four. Throw it short over to Jones and is going to be able to make the catch there. Good for the first down. Can they keep the momentum going? Third and 11. Long for down, Collins this time picking it up though with Trevor Morgan. He's going to get him across the 25-yard line. Good for the first down here once again. The Rebels on the move as Warwick looks to have the first points on the board here as they draw closer. A catch by Curtis gives them another first down, gets them inside the 15-yard line as the Rebels now sit in the red zone here. And they're going to be looking for six points. We'll see if they can get a touchdown or they'll have to settle for a field goal here as we do have first and goal awaiting the Rebels right here. We'll see if they can go ahead and punch it in right here, right now. First and goal, getting ready to go. Collins dropping back, he's looking around, got some time in the pocket, gonna go ahead, right in the end zone and south, touchdown Rebels! And Warwick strikes first. They get on the board here in this national championship game and take the lead. And now we look to see what the capital of Tennessee response is going to be here. We got third and long coming up to Sean Gray. Looking to the left-hand side, finds Juno, who is hit 
and gets across the 40 yard line as well but it is going to be the last play of the first quarter the Warwick Rebels up 7 to nothing on the Capitol Tennessee Bulldogs after one quarter of play so now here we go with the second quarter now we flip the field and now Deshaun Gray will be taking the snap for the first snap of this second quarter of play and it's a good start for the Bulldogs here as Deshaun Gray does take them to about the 40 yard line another quarterback scramble here once again is now a couple plays later now Gray again on a quarterback design run get some good blocking here as well which does make it a much more manageable situation for Sean Gray and company and because it was so manageable easy run for Deshaun Gray using the mobility in order to pick up that first down here once again is now first and ten Gray dropping back the pass he's looking around is actually going to scramble out of the backfield and get that first down here as well once again Deshaun Gray trying to get something going here as they look to get on themselves back on the board. Now segment 15, Gray looking, going to throw it towards the end zone, and it's in triple coverage. I'm actually shocked that that was not intercepted, but the, they did not have all state because they do not have good hands to those defensive backs, at least this time around. So instead of further along for the Bulldogs, as Gray will try to jump back and pass once again. Tries to throw it quickly over to that left-hand side, but it is incomplete. And sure enough, the Bulldogs did have to settle for a field goal. And so the Rebels, as a result of that, they will still have the lead for right now with a 7-3 ball game. We'll see if Capital Tennessee, after forcing a free and out on the Rebels, can they get their very first lead of this ball game? They did pick up the first down there. Now, first and 10, Gray from the 35-yard line, throwing it out to Atkins, out of the left-hand side. That is good for the first down here once again as the Bulldogs are on the move across midfield. It's Gray again, trying to drop back the pass, throwing it over to the left-hand side, gets it out to Atkins, who has plenty of space to work with on the outside and does eventually get forced out of bounds, but not before picking up some good yardage. Atkins with his very catch of the day already as we now have second and ten coming up for the, um, the Bulldogs. It's Gray dropping back once more. This time facing pressure though as Warwick sends the house. But Gray smartly getting out of that pocket though. And so that does mean that another first down for the Bulldogs. And Gray with that quarterback design run here once again. Gets him just a couple of yards away. Third and two from the free yard line. We'll see what the Capital Tennessee Bulldogs decide to come up with here. And Gray will drop back and takes pressure right up the middle. And Warwick gets to the quarterback. And so another goal line stand for the Rebels. Bulldogs forced to settle for another field goal here once again. And now with 3.30 left here in the first half, the number one team in college football, the Warwick Rebels. Still have a 7-6 lead against the number three team in the nation in the capital of Tennessee Bulldogs. But I'm sure if you're the Rebels, you want to get some points on the board here. These Bulldogs can also score. What's good about these Bulldogs as well, they can win both ways. They can win ugly, and they can do it with flash as well with the offense and the versatility. So definitely Warwick taking them completely seriously. No question the best team that they have faced this entire season. Now, third and one, Collins going to hand it off to Love, right up the middle, able to pick up the first down, gets them across the 50-yard line. Montez Love had a really nice carry right there. They're actually going to go back to him as well. So now, second and two, coming up for the Rebels right here, as Collins will drop back once more, trying to throw it to the right-hand side, but it's intercepted by Amy, and Amy might be able to take this thing back. The first touchdown for the Bulldogs of Capital, Tennessee is a pick six on Zach Collins. And that's how we go into the locker room. Capital, Tennessee now holding on to the lead. 13 to seven with one half of football left to play. So let's go, man. Second half officially underway in Capital, Tennessee. They certainly have all the momentum going right now as a pick six was what ends the first half of play. And so Capital of Tennessee, they don't have the football, but they do have the lead here to start the second half. 
Although the Rebels will look to change that quickly as they will hand it off to Montez Love. Who gets them across the 40-yard line for the first down on that play. It's now first and 10. Collins dropping back, facing pressure though. Has to throw it quickly out to Curtis. Who does come back and make the catch for his quarterback. Nice play by the receiver by helping out the quarterback there. You'll love to see it. But can they keep it going? Third and 12 now. Collins lit up like a Christmas tree, though. And that does mean fourth down. And the Rebels, even though they're in no man's land, it looks like they're actually going to go ahead and punt this football away here as Kick is up. Got some really nice hang time up on there. Campbell of Tennessee, though, choosing to receive it. And a very costly decision as the Rebels pick up the fumble. Granted, it was a free and out right at the goal line, though. So, Warwick still find themselves down, but they do end up tacking on a field goal. It's still 13-10 in favor of the Bulldogs. But, that being said, though, the Rebels, particularly Sack Collins, or Ryan Collins, has to save his backup quarterback. We're going to change things up here. It's now third and short. Collins going to hand it off to Montez Love again, who takes it right up the gut and is going to be able to pick up the first down here once again. Now we got second and ten here once more. Collins dropping back the pass. He's looking around, getting up field, and is going to get into the red zone as well. The Rebels now in a position to go ahead and retake the lead here. As they go to Montez Love again. He's got a clean hole to work with. And he's nearly in the end zone. 49. A touchdown saving tackle. But no problem for Collins though. He throws it out to Carr. Who punches it in the end zone with ease. Touchdown for the Warwick Rebels. As they retake the lead here in this ACSA National Championship game. And on top of that the Rebels actually decide to go for two here. And if they do get this two-point conversion, it does make it a five-point game. Although, something I wouldn't do because if they don't get it, it's just a field goal difference. As Collins somehow gets out of there, dies for the end zone, making it work somehow. Touchdown, Rebels. And they do indeed now make this a five-point game. Warwick back up ahead. So all things being considered now, we'll see what capital of Tennessee can respond with after not only giving up the touchdown but also a two-point conversion as well they find themselves down by five once again but not the first time they've been down this game for sure as gray dropping back throwing over the right hand side gets it out to davis who gets lit up like a christmas tree and can't hang on to the football so an incomplete pass to there leading to third and short we'll see what gray can can do here is a handoff to Bland who's got the space needed to pick up the sticks that is a new set of downs for the Bulldogs gets them across the 40 yard line in the process is now first and 10 Gray looking around gonna try to scramble out of the pocket once more picks up the first down on the ground however that being said there is a penalty on the offense a holding that is going to back them up so now second and long now thanks in no part because of the penalty and it's about to be third and long here as well third and 17 gonna have to get really creative here on offense in order to try to pick up that first down we'll see what Deshaun Brand does here as Gray dropping back throws over the middle has Atkins he's gonna block two and it gets to the first down marker what a great play design and they left the middle of the field open they played back to prevent the first down and ironically, that was what killed these guys here as well. So you hate to see it, but they will get a second chance here to get them off the field. Another third down coming up to Sean Gray. Maybe it's a couple of guys missed too. So two long third down conversions that are good to go. And so first and 10, Gray dropping back, throwing over the middle to Juno, who does pick up the first down and get into the red zone as well. And that does wrap up the third quarter of play. We have one quarter up, put those fours in the chat. 10 minutes away from deciding the ACSA national champion. So let's go, fourth quarter. This is where good players become great and where great players become legend. The fourth quarter of the national championship game. One possession game. Let's see what each team is made of. This is Sean Gray 
throws the Atkins over the middle. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And the Bulldogs pull right back ahead. They respond to the two-point conversion that Warwick came up with. And not only that, they will try to go for two themselves. They actually initially miss, but a pass interference on the Warwick Rebels means they get a second crack at this thing. Halfway to the goal line already. Gray punching it in the end zone. Touch. Two-point conversion is good for the Bulldogs. And Capital of Tennessee now up 21 to 18 ball is now in warwick's court in the backup quarterback ryan collins who came in during the semi-final game in the absence of adrian williams now has an opportunity to cement his legacy right here as a legend on the warwick campus can he lead what could potentially be the game winning drive as there's 7.40 left on the clock, Collins getting his troops at the line of scrimmage. Third and 12, Collins making guys miss. Going to try to run for the first down, and it's going to be just shy. One yard short, and that means they sadly do have to punt this football away. But 7.10 left on the clock. There is still plenty of time left here. Defense certainly having to stand up as you, that was not what you're looking for. If you're a Warwick fan right now, it's now second and eight. Couple plays later, Gray dropping back to pass some more. All the time in the world, trying to send it out to the right-hand side. Was looking for Atkins, but it is incomplete, though. Now a third and long coming up. Gray will try to pick up the first down. Is caught from behind. And so a fourth down coming up. Capital of Tennessee will also punt the football away. And it still remains a three-point game. Warwick, let's see what they got now. As neither team has scored the past couple of drives. We got an incompletion there. Second and 10 now coming up here. Now Collins looking back. He's going to be scrambling in the pocket a little bit here. Out gets outside of the pocket and almost reaches the first down marker here at the same time. As a freshman making some plays, was just in high school last year. Now in a position to have a game-winning drive. He gets a second crack at it. As Collins dropping back. He's looking around. First and ten. Collins going to scramble upfield, though, and ends up sliding down. Perfect timing, dude, as a guy was getting ready to come up and take the dude's head off. It's now second and ten now. Collins again dropping back to pass. This time facing pressure from the right-hand side, but reacting Collins calmly moving forward in the pocket. And sliding down for the first down as well. It's now second and nine. Collins throwing to the right-hand side to Curtis for a seven-yard gain on the play. So here we go. Third and short now. Huge play for both squads. Remember, each team still has both of its timeouts. And now here we go. Collins dropping back again. He's going to try to throw it down the middle of the field. Has a man, but it's deflected the last second. And not only is it incomplete leading to a fourth down, we got very startling decision here. They're actually going to try to go for the field goal. They can actually go for it. And no surprises there. It was extremely well short. So I have absolutely no idea what they were thinking. But now that being said, 318 left on this clock. Capital of Tennessee now with an opportunity to go ahead and run the clock out and win the inaugural ACSA National Championship game. And of course, if they get a touchdown here as well, this game is essentially going to be over as Gray will throw the left-hand side, gets to the Atkins. He gets them closer deep in the capital of Tennessee territory. Now deep in the field goal range. Warwick trying to do damage control as Davis is a couple of yards shy of the first down marker. As now, second and two, Gray dropping back. He's looking around, going to get into the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And that is going to be the dagger here in this championship game. So it was a hard-fought battle between these two squads, but we now know there's a winner. Capital of Tennessee, they win this game 28-18. And they get the opportunity to call themselves the inaugural ACSA National Champions of the ACSA here in Season 1. Congratulations to the Bulldogs for a great season and a culminating in a great 
championship game over the course of next week we will have the offseason before we start getting ready for season two but i'm sure the bulldogs are just excited for this moment in general congratulations to them in the meantime though i hope you guys are all out there having a wonderful day take care everybody